Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we are headed out on the water to throw blade baits, one of the best winter lures. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been on the water. Tim and I have been down in Guyana, but we're back home now. It looks like water temps have dropped. Here in the marina it's 42 degrees. Air temps are 35, 36, but supposed to warm up to 42, 43. It should be fun. Let's go fishing. Whew, it is a chilly morning. Just shut the boat down. We've got snow on the mountains right behind us. It is cold. Here's the deal. I've got three different blades tied on. The Jackal Keyburn, tried and true. The Damiki, also tried and true. And a newer one from Mega Bass. That Dyna Balance, I think they call it. Brand new. We're going to try all three. I suspect all three will work. The blade is one of those baits that will work down to the coldest of water. Your lake can be freezing up. You could be fishing it through a hole in the ice and it will still work. You just flutter it up off the bottom, let it fall. Flutter it up, let it fall. Very subtle movement. We'll talk details as we go. Let's get fishing. So what we're sitting on here is a ledge. Comes out fairly slow tapered. It's kind of chunk rock, gravel, and then it breaks to deep water. And I'm fishing that slope down from say 15 to 30, 35 feet of water. These fish will live on that slope. We're in one of the narrower sections of the lake. It's a natural pinch point. These fish can sit here all winter. So we're going to fish really slow. I just put spot lock on on the old tracks. We're going to sit perfectly still, work down this ledge, and then we'll scoot up, do it again. Scoot up, do it again until we find biting fish. Ooh, that fish popped up out of 28 feet of water, ate that Dyna response. Nice fish. He is cold. Cold, cold, cold. Sorry, buddy. I'll let you go home right now. Little tiny blade bait. Nice fish. Go home. So what's the deal with the blade? What is it? Essentially, it's a vibration bait, a lipless, but it doesn't have a rattle. Most blade baits are stamped steel, steel, brass, something, and then it's got lead on the belly. Some of the newer versions, like a Keyburn, it's actually that, what do you want to call it, like the computer board lip? And then they put inserts in it so that it stays strong. Baits like that tend to vibrate better than the traditional steel baits, or they vibrate sooner. But the concept here with the blade bait is very simple. It's a vibration bait. So you throw it out, you let it go to bottom, and you give it a little pull and you'll feel it flutter. And as soon as you feel it flutter, you stop. And you let it fall back down to bottom. Give it a pull, flutter up, let it fall back down. When the fish are up shallow and they're aggressive, they hit it pretty hard. But when the water gets really cold like it is now, these fish are so subtle. You just lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and drop. And you'll go to pick up and there's a fish on there. You typically don't even feel them bite it. They're just sitting there on the bottom. They're lethargic, it's winter. And that bait flutters by and they just, they just latch onto it. And because they have such tiny little hooks, 
they tend to catch on their own. If you were fishing a, a bigger blade with bigger hooks and they did that, you wouldn't get them because you really have to plant those hooks. But because these blades all come with such little tiny hooks, they tend to just grab that thing and get a little skin hook. And when you pick up, there's a bass on there. It's a really simple way to fish. Honestly, one of the easiest things that you can do, you just go down the bank, throw it out, hit the bottom, pull and drop, pull and drop. And all of a sudden there's a fish on there. It will work in any water temperature. Now that's one of the interesting things. It was designed for cold water for smallmouth. That's how it started. It has expanded from there. The things work everywhere. We've caught fish down in the desert when the water temps are like 80 degrees. And we've caught fish fishing bluff walls with them just fluttering down through the boulders. They work in the grass in the springtime. They work in the fall when bass are up shallow, but they still shine in winter for every species of bass. See if we can catch some more and then I'll explain the gear to you. <laughs> oh, little tiny guy. Now, a lot of these blades actually come with double hooks on them. Little two-pronged hook, almost like a frog hook. I'm not a huge fan of the hookup ratio of those hooks. So on a lot of my blades, I am changing out the hardware. I take those double hooks off, I put number two hyperwire split rings, and then number five or number six treble hooks. Either one will be fine most of the time, unless you're throwing a little three eights. The three eights are so small, you might even have to go down to a smaller treble than that, like a number eight, but that's really tiny. Usually six will be all right. Now, as far as equipment goes, traditionally I have always thrown the blade bait on my lipless rod. Same rod that I like to go up shallow and throw that lipless crank or throw a square bill. But this past fall and winter, I started throwing it on my jerk bait rod and I've been way happier. So here's the deal as far as gear goes. I fish it on light line. The little guys, the three eighths ounce, I throw those on 10 pound fluoro. The bigger sizes, half ounce or bigger, I throw on 12 pound fluoro or I throw it on 20 pound braid tied to 10 or 12 pound. Either one will work fine. But what I found with the jerk bait rod, you know, a, a crankbait rod loads deep into the blank. And I was used to it and it worked great. You pull that thing. But what I found when I went to a jerk bait rod, which has a much crisper tip section, a faster tip section, you don't have to pull near as hard because when you go to pull, you're immediately moving the bait. You're not loading the rod and then springing the bait forward. So it's a much more subtle movement. It's crisper, I've got a better feel, and I've been really happy throwing that blade on a jerk bait rod. But again, light line, light hooks, just barely hopping that thing. Hopefully we can get another fish or two before I freeze to death, but we are not gonna stay out here long because I did not dress for the wind. It was calling for calm, calm and cold I can do. It's pretty chilly at the moment. I lost him. Obviously that was my fault. The old cell phone routine. Wow, that was bad. That one I felt. He ate it hard. Just thunk. Thanks, buddy.
usually when they hit that hard in water this cold, it's because there were two fish together, both looking at the bait, and one of them decided to get it before the other one could. That's almost always what that is. I'm drifting, so I don't know exactly where it was. If I had been anchored up, had my spot lock on, you could throw back to the same place and catch the other one most of the time. Think he wanted that blade all the way down. That's that Dyna Balance. Three eighths ounce. Choked. fish are so cold they're just not even fighting let me drag them up he's got one hook hope for the best come on buddy come on let's go yeah it's on the vault that Demiki vault Thrown that one for years and years and years. Thanks, bud. Nice fish. You just can't beat it. I mean, when it's truly cold and those fish are down deep on the bottom, the blade is one of the few things that will reach down there and still get that reaction strike. You know, if these fish were shallower, I could crank them, but they're not. They're down there in 15 to 30 feet of water. That one was in. 25 foot. I've got no other reaction bait in my box that I can trigger these fish with that's the right size, the right vibration, and just gets them. Now, probably the last thing we should talk about is color. Oh, and also where to throw the bait. Let me pull a box out. Color is obviously so important. And this is one of my blade bait boxes. And you'll see, I mean, I have all sorts of different colors. We've got, you know, dark shads, basically black and silver, straight silver, the actual silver buddy, the original, still a dynamite bait. Orange, red, a lot of chartreuses, bluegill tones gold which is a smasher when you get around smallmouth you get a little stain in the water then some of those more natural tones there are all sorts of different options so how do you know what should you throw my rule of thumb i'll just tell you what i do i always start with just a a natural muted bait fish color 
Now, if I start noticing a lot of bluegill on my electronics or fish start spitting things up and I see that there's bluegill coming out, I'm, boom, I go to a bluegill color. If my water's really stained, I go to a chartreuse. Uh, I also go to gold if I'm just a little bit off colored, if you got kind of that black tannic water, or if you're around smallmouth. Around smallmouth, chartreuse or gold are killers. But around largemouth, always start with those natural silver tones, always, and then adapt from there. Now, I've got some red in my box. What is that about? If you get fish just absolutely fired up where they're just eating it, if you switch to red, sometimes you will get the biggest fish out of the school. So that's what that is for, those bright colors. But for the most part, that natural color will get it done. Now, let's talk about where I do this. We've already talked about where bass go in winter. You already have those answers. So we're gonna be fishing those points where we know those fish are moving up and down, where they're spending the winter. Pinch points, that's what I'm on here. I don't have a, a big substantial point, but what I have is a narrow spot in the lake where the bass are going to come and they're gonna line up on those edges for the winter. And in this particular area, it comes out and it breaks off. So they can sit right on that break and as the storms come through, they can move up or down accordingly. So I'm just fishing that little break. Island tops, those typical winter spots. A lure retriever is key. I've got this hung up quite a bit today, but I haven't lost one. One nice thing is that the hooks are so small compared to the weight of the bait, that if you just shake it in rock, it will almost always come out. But if you're fishing around wood or something like that, or you're really hanging up, a lure retriever will be key because you're fishing these baits hard on the bottom. Guys, I hope this information helps you. Blade bait fishing is a lot of fun and it will work all winter. And again, it's another way that you can catch fish, you can catch quality fish without slowing down and actually finesse fishing. It's just a fun way to get them. I hope this video helps you. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.